Good Erev Shabbos, everybody. This week's portion is that of Kiseitse. Kiseitse, there is a mitzvah in which it says, Lo yavai amoyni umayavi bekahal Hashem. Any man from the Ammonites or Moabites is not accepted into the congregation of Israel. That means, should they desire to convert, we do not accept them. Why is that? It says, When we left Egypt, we were traveling in the desert, and we were passing by their uh, states. They did not come and offer us any bread or any water. And in addition, they hired the services of the prophet Bilam to curse us. God, of course, did not accept his curses and transformed them into blessings. This is the statement. Our sages asked a question that first of all, it was the Moabites who hired Bilam, not the Ammonites. And not only that, we find that it says elsewhere that the Moabites did sell us food and water. So why does it say, like Kidmu, they didn't come and greet us with food and water? Do we actually expect people to come and offer free food and water to millions of individuals? How do we understand this? In addition, we find Throughout the Torah, we know that Moab was the elder of the two. Lot's daughters, assuming that there was no man on earth worthy of them, caused their father Lot to become intoxicated, and he fathered children from his eldest daughter, and that child was Moab. Then he fathered a child from his younger daughter, and that child was Amon. Moab is precedes Ammon, and yet here in the verse it says an Ammonite and a Moabite are not permitted into the congregation of Israel. Why does it place Ammon before Moab? The Torah continues, and it says, Mitzri. Do not distance yourself from an Egyptian. Meaning? Meaning? that if an Egyptian wishes to convert to Judaism, we will accept them. They're allowed to convert to Judaism. And Rashi even notes, and Rashi says, we can accept an Egyptian? Well, we, yes, we accept the Egyptians because, after all, they were our hosts. We lived there for 210 years. We lived there for 210 years. But most of those years were spent in slavery. Our lives were embittered. They took our male children and drowned them in the Nile. And for this, we should say, oh, thank you, because you let us live there? You did everything to destroy us. Rashi says, nevertheless, we see that we can accept them should they desire to convert to Judaism because they did allow us to live there. And what about the Moabites and the Ammonites? They cannot be accepted into the congregation of Israel because they didn't sell you or bring you a food and water. Well, you know, that's not nice. That really shows that they're not nice people. But how does that compare to the Egyptians who were trying to destroy us? Paro said to his council, let us sit down and let us be wise and come about a plan in dealing with the Jews. And the plan was to destroy the male children and to place such heavy, difficult, backbreaking labor upon the men that it would destroy our spirits and it would leave us morally corrupt subject to the influences of their society. That is not worse than those who just didn't greet us with food and water. How do we comprehend this? So 
Rabbi Yerucham Levovitz notes that we find that in Ethics of Our Fathers, it may By Shonim, they're humble, they feel, they feel embarrassment, and goim lechesed, and they perform kindness. What does it mean that these are traits that are found amongst the descendants of Abraham? It means that this is part of our nature. This is who we are. We are by nature a humble, kind, compassionate people. Jews are at the forefront of all social injustice and helping with, with everyone throughout the world. It's who we are, it's our nature. The Ramban, the great commentary, the Ramban says, what was this total disastrous crime of the Ammonites and the Moabites? They didn't greet us with bread and water. What does that mean? The Moabites, they hired Bilaam. They hired Bilaam to curse us, to destroy us. And the Ammonites are the ones who didn't bring us, they wouldn't even sell us food and water. The Moabites did sell us food and water. And the Ammonites wouldn't even sell us that. And for that reason, the Ammonites are placed first. The Ammonites and Moabites, out of chronological order, are not permitted to convert to Judaism. Why? Because what the Ammonites did is something which is horrendous. What is so horrendous about us? The Ramban says, what was this episode of Lot fathering children from his daughters? Lot was a nephew of Avraham. He was raised by Avraham and Sarah, living in their home. And Lot made a decision. <clears throat> he wanted to pursue the wealth and pleasures of this world. He left Avraham and he moved to the vicinity of Sodom the horrible, wicked, cruel people of Sodom. And God sent angels. And the angels were there too. One was to destroy Sodom, and the other was sent to rescue Lot and his family. <clears throat> what merit did Lot have? Why should God rescue him? The Torah tells us that it was because Lot's demise would be a source of great consternation and anguish to Avraham. And because Avraham was so beloved to God, the Almighty sent angels to miraculously rescue Lot. It says that the angels took Lot and his family by their hands and took him outside the city. Told them, don't even look back. And we know when Lot's wife looked back, she turned into a pillar of salt. The entire existence, life for Lot and his daughters is a result of the kindness, compassion, excellence of Avraham. Because of Avraham, and Lot knew this, he was told, because of Avraham, you're being given life. You will have children. You will have grandchildren. One would think that a person would have an element of gratitude. Should be grateful. Grateful to Avraham. Grateful to Avraham's offspring. It's because of you, the Jewish people, that we, Ahmed and Moab, exist today. And yet, what do we find? That Moab hires Bilaam to curse the Jews. Ammon won't even sell us food and water to make a profit. They boycott, they divest, they want nothing to do with us. Could there be a greater expression of a lack of gratitude, of a total ingrate, someone who doesn't have an iota of decency in their nature? Not only do you not say thank you, you do everything possible. You turn your back on us, you try to destroy us. Ramban says, 
That's why the Torah states they cannot convert to Judaism. Because the Jewish people are by nature kind, charitable, considerate, giving people. People who see the good in others. People who recognize that our mission is to see the good and the benevolence of God Almighty. Look for the good. Try to be helpful. Reach out unto others. That's Avraham and Sarah. That's the nature of Jewish people. But Ammon and Moab, they are diametrically opposed in their very nature. These are two poles that repel each other. It's not just a punishment. We won't accept them to convert. They cannot. Their nature is such that they are incompatible with the Jewish people. What about the Egyptians? Look what they did. They tried, they physically tortured us. They destroyed us. They drowned our children. That's a terrible crime. But they didn't do it because they are by nature cruel individuals. They did it out of fear. They had no reason to be afraid of the Jewish people. But nevertheless, Paro and his council viewed the Jews as a threat. And because of that, they became very anxious and they made very poor decisions. Decisions which carried consequences, the plagues. But it wasn't because their nature is incompatible with Klaal Yisrael, the Jewish people. And what's the proof? The proof is because they welcomed us. When Jacob and his household came, they welcomed us. As long as Yaakov was alive, he was revered. As long as Yosef and his brothers were alive, they were held in the highest esteem. They performed a kindness. Come, stay with us, live with us, become part of us. Then when the Jews became very affluent, successful and numerous, then they became seized with a fright that distorted their proper thought process. But nevertheless, their nature is such in which, should they choose to convert, we will accept them. But Ammon and Moab, absolutely not. They are by nature incompatible. There are some nations on the face of the earth today in which we see acts of cruelty, especially towards the Jewish people, Holocaust such acts of cruelty that defy human logic and rational explanation. We cannot perceive the evil because the descendants of Abraham and Sarah, we have a nature of kindness and compassion and charity and helping others. We cannot even imagine such cruelty and horrific decisions but it does exist and we should be aware and we should also realize how fortunate and blessed we are to be able to say that we, the children of Israel, are the descendants of Abraham, Sora, Yitzchak, and Rivka, Yaakov, Rachel, and Leah. We have a different nature and we should follow the nature, utilize our nature as God Almighty desires in recognizing not just the good in others, but the good in our Father in heaven, and see his love in kindness and his boundless love that he has for each and every one of us. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay Jewish. Have a wonderful Shabbos.